Lesson 3.5 Solving Rational Equations So, let's look at page 27, uh, the question number uh, letter B, which is y over 6 equal to 4 minus y minus 1 over 12 here. Okay. Before solving this problem, I want to ask you one question to you. If we have any fractional equation, x minus 4 over 2x plus 1 equal to 0. What do we only care about that? Do we have to set up both x minus 4 equal 0 and 2x plus 1 equal 0? Unfortunately, this one you cannot because if 2x plus 1 equal to 0, then this fraction becomes undefined. So whenever we have fraction here, we only care about the numerator equation, not the denominators. So, in this case, finding denominator, which means, in other words, we can say multiplying the LCD, to each fraction form. Okay, so in this questions, what is the LCD? The 12, right? So you multiply 12 each term, so 12 times y over 6 equal to 4 times 12 minus 12 times y minus 1 over 12. And simplify then this becomes 2 then this is going to be 2y equal to 48 minus y minus 1 of course we have a t over 12 but as you know 12 we don't care because the denominator value okay so now it becomes 2y equal to 48 minus y plus 1. Combine y so we get the variable to the one side. Then 3y equal to 49. So the last step divide by 3. Then y equal to 49 over 3. However, before you are moving on, you must go back to the original form whether y equals 49 over 3 it makes original equation max equal to 0. Fortunately, there's no uh, variable expression on denominator. Now we can confirm this is the final answer. What about the case we have the variable on the denominator? So let's look at uh, equation G. g is 3x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 2 equals 9 over x minus 2. Anyway, look at each denominator factor and then find their LCD. Fortunately, x minus 2, they are repeat. So, LCD becomes x minus 2. Then you multiply x minus 2 to each fraction form. Then x minus 2 times 3x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 2 times x minus 2 equal to 9 over x minus 2 times x minus 2. So you cancel this out. Then this equation becomes 3x plus 1 plus 2x minus 2 equal to 9. Now you distribute, then this becomes 3x plus 1 plus 2x minus 4 equal to 9. You combine like terms, then this becomes 5x. And minus 3 
equal to 9 and combine 3 then 5x equal to 12 so divide by 5 therefore x equal to 12 over 5 before confirming this is the answer we have to go back to the original equation and then just make uh, x equal 12 over 5 makes any of uh, fraction equal to undefined fortunately it is not therefore now you can confirm this is the correct answer okay let's talk about a little bit harder one so page 28 I'm gonna cover um, letter N on this video. So, which is the x over x plus 6 equal to 72 over x squared minus 36 plus 4? As you see, x plus 6, x squared minus 36, they are denominator factor especially this one you can rewrite this x plus 6 and x minus 6 here right so when you look at this one what can be lcd obviously x plus 6 repeat so we count one time and then take out remaining factor so become x plus 6 times x minus 6 that is the lcd value so, you multiply LCD, so x plus 6 times x minus 6, multiply x over x plus 6 equal to x plus 6, x minus 6 times 72 over x plus 6, x minus 6 plus 4 times x plus 6, x minus 6. Then this cancelled out and this cancelled out. So we can simplify this one. X times x minus 6 equal to 72 plus 4 times x plus 6 times x minus 6. You distribute then x square minus 6x equal to 72 plus 4 times x squared minus 36 therefore this becomes x squared minus 6x equal to 72 plus 4x squared minus 144 okay now i'm going to gather everything to the right side because um the leading term so higher leading term is on the right side. So minus x squared and plus 6x. Then it becomes 3x squared minus 6x minus 72 equal to 0. So as you see, this is the trinomial factoring again. So we try to factor this one. Before that, can you see the common factor? All out of three terms. Then you better do it first. So as you see, we can simplify this one by three first. Then x squared minus 2x minus 24 equal to 0. So instead of doing this one, you just factor out this one and find the answer. So x minus 6 x plus 4 equal to 0 each factor just to make equal to 0 then you will get the answer x equal 6 x equal 24 before confirming those answer we must go back to the original equation and confirm whether either one or both makes any fraction make undefined so we got x equals 6 
so this is fine but now this one look at this uh, we confirm that this factor become x plus 6 and x minus 6 here you plug 6 into here then this is going to be 0 so this fraction become undefined so unfortunately 6 cannot be the answer therefore our final answer x equal to negative 4 that is the only answer so what if you don't uh, check and then confirm your answer then unfortunately your answer is not that, not correct okay